Hello Virgo, getting ready to do your reading. This is for past, present, and future. We're going to see what the overall energy is to start. So for you, you have action, taking action. I believe you're the only sign that has that as the overall energy. Under the deck is protection. So whatever action you want to take, you are protected. It's like time to move, take action, make those changes. Okay, good. Some of you might not be telling people what you're doing. You may be taking action. I get kind of like in the middle of the night, but that's not literal unless you want it to be. But that means not telling people. Okay. What is the past energy for Virgo? The Ace of Wands. Okay. You had some sort of idea. Knight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Chariot. There may have been a relationship or a situation that maybe you were keeping secret because for some reason I'm getting there may be some secrets going on here or you're trying to decide who you want to tell okay the past there's some sort of attraction here some sort of offer the seven of swords is here so again i think something was kept private about moving forward or nothing maybe nothing happened in the past also because now they're telling you to take action you guys have somebody coming towards you so there's some sort of offer now this may be a cancer i can't tell yet if I think this is legit. I just think you're keeping this secret. But there could be someone with some sort of offer. Now, this can be work with the three of coins. This can be going out on a date. Um, this can be, you know, other things besides just love. But it's probably this is a love connection. In the future, you have the two of swords. What is that about? Hang on. Let me do that again. What is the two of swords? Oh yeah, things are speeding up for you guys. Okay, you're gonna be happy. Okay, for somebody, you're dating your boss. You're dating someone you don't want people to know. And there was something here where you had to lay low. You weren't telling people for whatever reason. Uh, things are gonna change. I'm definitely getting this, things are gonna pick up. I don't know what stalled them, what slowed them down. Could It could be a hundred different reasons. But, um, but for someone, this almost feels like maybe this is also a pre-COVID thing, which I know is a long time ago. But I am getting that. Some of you could be quitting work in the future. Maybe even moving with the Six of Swords. It may not be far, but possibly moving. But you're taking action, moving ahead. And this is like not working anymore. And maybe staying home, taking care of a family, um, living in a different area, living a different life. And this all starts because I believe back here there was some sort of meeting. There was some sort of, um... now again, maybe you met this person at work and nothing really happened. There was just an attraction. But now this person is deciding to ask you out. Again, this could be in a friend group with the three coins. It does not have to be work. Um, this person obviously could be a water sign. I, should, I don't need to say that, I guess. But this person could be in love with you. So basically you're getting like the green light here to take action on this connection and now it's time to move it forward again some of you may marry this person or be in a committed relationship release so radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go release something for new love so you're letting go of something from the past in order to manifest this new connection and acceptance Whatever you have to release, I mean, it almost looks like right here, some of you are releasing a job. You're moving on from a job. Or there is there is a two of swords. So this can be like accepting what's, what is, what's going on, how long it's taken. That's interesting because it is, it is kind of like a slow progression here in your future. Like you're still working. You're trying to take your time. There's a new cycle. You're moving forward. Then things finally pick up action. It's almost as if possibly you might be slowing some of this down. The sooner you release the situation, an ex, a job, something that's holding you back is now time to, you know, that will bring in new love. Hmm, it's kind of interesting. Okay, what do you want Virgo to know? What do you want Virgo to know? Moon, lore, ebb and flow. So that tells me you don't really need to do anything. All you need to do, just go with the flow. The next step will come. The next step will come. This King of Cups is going to communicate with you. Um, it's just going to happen naturally. Okay, even as I split the deck, two, I'm holding upside down. But Two of Cups and the Nine of Cups. 
where I split the deck. Um, let me see. What else does Virgo need to know? Now, I'm not sure if some of you know who this King of Cups is. This might not be the same person in the past. I'm kind of wondering for some of you if there is an ex or someone back here who was shady, who took off, who didn't follow through, who you thought like this was the person for you, and this is who they're telling you to release Virgo. So keep that in mind also because I can read it that way. I feel like for some of you, you have your heart set on one person, and it may not be that person, but I mean, you're going to end up very happy. Who is this King of Cups for Virgo? Two. They may be, they may have curly hair. They may, they, okay, let me stop. Hello. There may be a telepathic connection. They could have curly hair. They may be a nonconformist. They could be rolling in the money and they may love music. So this a lot of times does mean being able to stay home, not work. If you have a lot of money, you can live the fine, you know, live the finer life. Um, whatever that means to you. It doesn't mean you have to get married and have kids. It's just whatever your Ten of Cups is. What did I just do? Leo? If you have Leo in their chart, in your chart, toward the end of the reading, I picked up on a possible air sign who has some of the similar traits. And that might be the energy of the same person. You know, that might be your, you know, moon sign or something. So, might want to look at that because there were two people. There was a King of Wands and a King of Swords, and the King of Swords was the better match. And they, um, I do believe, maybe the only one was rolling in money, but actually I was, I think, getting the, I didn't use the cards for that person, or maybe I did. Gosh, I can't remember. But anyways. Yeah, I'm getting clearly, it's time to move on, to go with the flow, but at the same time to take action, to move forward, to release anyone from your past who has done you wrong or who someone you're waiting for they're not the right one there's somebody new with the two of wands and it's someone who is going to be in love with you is going to treat you well you will meet them in person you will not meet them online you could meet them through friends through co-workers something like that through a i don't know if there's is there dating like speed dating anymore i don't know but there's something like that about being in person when the three of coins shows up um it's going to happen naturally but you have to say yes you have to make that first move and take action you may be afraid, maybe afraid to get your heart broken or something like that with the protection card, but it's time to release um, all those fears and move forward and just know that this is the right person for you. So with that, Virgo, I am going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.